what's up? It's Sifu Cuddle, and in this Kung Fu combination, we're going to be working with the tiger fork, the Tai Pa, or the trident. Now, in another technique, we focused on just forward thrusts and spinning the trident. In this combination, we're actually not going to be spinning it, but we are going to do some very important fundamental techniques with this, and we're going to work with some uh, advancing and retreating footwork. Okay, so the cool thing about this technique is it does involve both sides of the weapon. And one of my favorite things about this is we do call this a tiger fork, but when we use the other side of the weapon, they tend to call this the tiger's tail. So we have tiger tail strikes that we'll be using with the bottom end of the weapon. All right, so to start us off, we're going to do a double end style grip. So my thumbs are facing towards each other and I'm going to grab pretty much center of the weapon so that I get some good reach. I'm going to turn and then have a nice horizontal slicing technique. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to cut with the weapon, but either striking with one of the harder edges or slashing with the tips of the uh, fork itself can do a lot of damage. So I'm going to swing across. Now I'm going to step behind stealing and do that same horizontal technique, but I'm going to strike with the tiger's tail this time. Okay, so nice and simple. We have one, two. Now stepping back again, I'm going to bring it low, either to use this to block low or to strike and attack towards the shin. So now it's going inward and I get power by pulling my back hand with it. Okay, so again, I have one moving back two tiger's tail, three. Now, after we've moved across, if our opponent attacks again low, or if we're going to try to sweep again and attack low with, this, with the fork, we're gonna pull back at, for number four, okay? So again, we have one horizontal, two horizontal, three low, four low. And then finally, we're going to finish with a downward raking or scratching technique using the tip of the weapon or striking with all of the trident itself for a nice heavy blunt object okay so now if i'm facing this way we have one two three four five okay again right here one two three four five make sure take the time Use both hands to generate power. Think of like rowing a boat and then try to get extension for your striking surface. You never want to have one side long and one side short as you're doing this. This is a really unique weapon. So if you haven't seen my other Kung Fu combination with this, be sure to check that out. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, drop those down in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that like button. And as always, be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, happy training, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.